What is the worst part about editing for you? What's the worst step? If you're like me, it's by far chopping up the talking head part of your video in order to cut out the silence, the mess ups, and the profanity because of those mess ups. And then the first, oh, but what once took an hour or more now takes five to 10 minutes. Hey, I'm Dylan John and the AI tool in question is called Gling. So let's say you just recorded you or someone else in a talking head type video. This one's around 30 minutes long. I think it's about 20, a 20 gigabyte file. You just go to the Gling desktop app and that's something that's nice. It's a desktop app. And then you can either drag it on here or select a new file. And then from here, if you want, you can rename it. I'll just do example. And then you see here, you can cut out the silences and bad takes. So if you wanna leave in the silences, you just remove that. I'm gonna have the silences cut. And it also supports different languages. I'm hoping they're fairly accurate. Uh, so let's click English and hit continue. Okay, so with that 28 minute video, it took about six minutes. Once the editor pops up, you'll see you have all of your transcript, some with sentences that are highlighted. That just means that those sentences were cut. And if you find that, for example, these two sentences right here, these two bits, they are not good takes. You just go to the left and you just cut them entirely. And if there are different words or sentences within these takes that are incorrect, you can just highlight them and then press the delete key. And that will take that out from the exported video. You can see how much I mess up. It's pretty accurate at knowing what are the messed up takes and uh, cutting them out. But then once again, if you need, if you find that a sentence needs to be in, you can just deselect. Or if you find that a sentence needs to be cut out, you can just select that. It's really simple. Down here, you have your timeline, which you can also listen to as well. These glasses essentially squeeze. And if you don't want these cuts to be shown, you can just turn this off so it'll show what you're gonna see in your editing software, which is pretty nice. And then once you go through your transcript and find that everything looks good, you just head up to export and you can export an XML for FCP, Resolve, or Premiere. You also have the ability to export out those clips to a single video file. So if you find that you don't even want to bring it into an editing software, just export out via .mp4. You have the ability to export out audio. So if you're doing a podcast and you just want to bring that audio out that's already cut up, you can do it with this, as well as the entire transcript itself, which is pretty nice. This is not a multi-cam clip. We don't have different angles going on. So I'm just gonna hit fcp.xml and then just export it out to the desktop just for time's sake. Then you would just import that XML from wherever it's sitting on your computer and you would open up the project and look at that. That is a 28 minute video that has been brought down to a little over eight minutes and all of the bad takes are taken out. All of the silences are taken out and what is nice is that it is a non-destructive step. So if you find that you need more room for a transition or you find that you would like that bad take to be included for some reason, then you could just extend your clip. It's not like Gling is exporting out those individual clips as is and just locking those in. It is working from the original source footage which is so nice. And another reason that this app is 100% worth it, in my opinion. The pricing for Gling is a subscription blaze, blaze. <laughs> that would have been cut out by Gling. It's a subscription based plan for $15 a month. And I know that may suck to some of you, but here's how I would think of it. Would you hire an assistant editor for 15 bucks to go and take out all the silences and bad takes from your videos every month? For $15, that's pretty much slave labor. So for the price of a chicken tender platter at Outback Steakhouse, you could save hours upon hours of tedious editing every month. Now you are limited to 10 hours of footage per month, but for most people, that's more than enough. If you do edit more, it's $2 for every extra hour of footage. So I'm editing the video you're watching now, and I forgot to mention that if you create YouTube videos and you edit your video with Gling and you put edited with Gling, as well as the Gling URL in the description of your videos, you can get free video credit for the next time that you transcribe with Gling. You get two hours per video. So that's a nice perk. And by the way, Gling is not paying me to say any of this at all. I just stumbled across this from my buddy Raphael's YouTube video and it is too useful not to tell you guys. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.